Hello, today we'll be going over how to add, edit, and remove existing employees from your review site and access to the control panel. Log in to your local Updominator control panel as an administrator and click on the Employees button. If you'd like to add an employee, you simply click the Add Employee button at the top of the page and populate all of the information in the form. The job title is a necessary field. We'll put admin here for today. Email address. If your employee does not have a unique email address, you can create a username here by creating their first name underscore last name. If your employees share an email address such as parts at or sales at, this cannot be used as a login as it is not a unique identifier. So if your employee has a unique email address, put that there. Otherwise, create a username for them to log into the account. You'll change their department to the applicable department. You'll make their user level. Leave that as a user. If you'd like them to have administrative access so that they can assist in responding to reviews and making changes to your account, you would set them up as an administrator. Otherwise, leave that as user. Type in their password. I typically do first name and one, two, three. Whatever the password is, retype it. If you'd like to add a photo of your employee, you can do that here and simply select one from your computer. And then show on the review site. This will allow your customers to leave a review for this specific employee based on their interaction with them. If you have an administrative employee that doesn't need to have um, their picture shown or their name listed on your review site, simply hide them from. And that's appropriate for things like office managers or if you have a marketing director over multiple stores and they're no longer customer facing but they need to have administrative access or whatnot, you can hide them. Otherwise, they'll show. And then you simply click Save. And that employee will now show both on your review site and they'll be able to log into the control panel. You can see that they're active. Now, if your staff, if your employee leaves the company, you simply click the green pencil next to that employee and you'll make them inactive by selecting the inactive radio button. Once you've done that, you click Save. Also, by clicking the green pencil, you can update their password, their user level, their department, their login, their job title, and their status or their photo. So you can make any edits to your employees that you'd like through the employee button on the control panel simply by clicking save, <clears throat> or the green pencil and then save. Now, um, uh, that you don't need to delete employees, you can simply add them, make them inactive or edit by choosing the pencil there. If you have any questions about how to add employees or any other elements of your local Web Dominator program, please feel free to give us a call at 877-242-4472. Thank you.